Hi there, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I would like to show you how to install WordPress on your host very easily and uh, using a script provided by your hosting company. Um, I would also like to show you how to install it manually, uh, just in case you would like to also know how to do it manually and uh, so you know both ways to do it. So the first thing you'll need is a hosting account and a domain. If you don't have hosting, I recommend a great host um, named SiteGround. I use SiteGround for all my websites, been using them for quite a few years now. And um, this is one of the best hosting company that I have uh, found. Uh, anyway, if, um, if you don't have a host, I recommend them. If you do, then um, we're all good to go. So we can go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you'll need is to log in into your hosting account. And once you log in, you're going to go to your cPanel. And the cPanel will pretty much be the same for any hosting company. Um, you'll find that different hosting companies have different tools that they use or that they provide you with, but many of them will be similar, as you can see here. This is the SiteGrounds admin panel, or cPanel, I should say. And in here, usually you will find things to manage your domain. You find things um, to auto install many different applications, including WordPress. And you find other tools, depending on the host, you'll have things that are provided only by them. For instance, this tool here, the Super Cacher, is one of the tools that SiteGround provides to increase your site speed, which is a very good tool. So you're going to find here um, either under the auto installers or under WordPress tools, the WordPress installer. So either one of these will do the trick. So go ahead and click on either one. And that's going to take you to this tool here, which is going to be a script that would auto install WordPress for you. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on install. And in here, you want to leave this as the default. And you want to select your domain. I've already set a domain for this here, which I'm going to use. And this option here is going to allow you to create a subdomain under your hosting account to install WordPress. If your hosting package allows for multiple websites, uh, then this would be a good idea. Otherwise, you can just leave this blank here. The table prefix is optional. You can go ahead and change it. I usually do. I recommend changing it to something else um, rather than the default, which is usually WP. Uh, SiteGround uh, actually just did that for me and changed it to a random character there. So I'll go ahead and change it to WPS. You can go ahead and name your blog. and uh, you can set a description here. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave this unchecked. This is for multi-site. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the username and the password. I'll just leave this the same here. We're gonna set up the admin email here. And let me just change this password because it's just create a simple password here and make sure that you select a uh, strong password. This is just a generic password just for demonstration purposes here. <laughs> and we're going to uncheck this here. And now we're going to click install. And that's all there is to it for the, the hard part. <laughs> Uh, it's going to take a few minutes here. Sometimes it might take up to three or four minutes for this to install. But um, after this, we'll just uh, be able to log into the site and 
that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's already finished. Uh, it will send you an email saying that the uh, website has been installed and you should be able to access your website now through this link and the admin panel through this link here. So let's give it a try. As you can see here, it's all set and working. This is the domain for the website. Uh, SiteGround has included some content here for you to see. And we can go ahead and log into the admin panel with the user ID and password that we just created. And as you can see, that that's all there is to it. And uh, you can go here and create a post. Boy, where's my spelling going? And as you can see, it's very easy to get WordPress installed and up and running and start blogging. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You can, of course, um, play around with WordPress here and you have all these uh, the options here to manage users, comments, and posts. You can go ahead and change the theme to another theme. This one is the 2015 theme, which is a very beautiful theme. I really like this theme. It's the same one that I use for my blog here. And this is the same theme here, customized. And now I want to show you how to install WordPress manually. So let's get started with that. All right, so now I want to show you real quick how to install it manually. This is also very simple, very fast. Yeah, it involves a few more steps than the previous method that we used, which was installing it via script, uh, but not too much complicated. Uh, so just follow along and you'll see uh, how easy it is. So the first thing we're going to do again is log in to our hosting. And we're going to go to our cPanel. All right, so now what we want to do is open up our FTP program. Now, if you are not sure what FTP is and how to go about connecting to your host, you can go ahead and leave a comment or just send me an email and I'll be happy to help with this step here. Uh, your hosting company will also provide you with the information that you need to connect to their site via FTP to manage your, your um, web hosting space. So once you connect to the FTP, you're going to create a folder. You're going to navigate to the public folder here. And underneath that, you're going to see, you're probably not going to see if you just open the account, you're probably not going to see any folders here. But if you already have a hosting account, you might have sites underneath your main hosting account. Some hosting accounts will allow you to host multiple sites. And for instance, in this account, I have multiple sites underneath my main account. So what you want to do is you want to create a folder to place your new website on. Or if you don't have any websites, then it'll be under the main folder. And the next step will be to go to WordPress.com. Sorry, WordPress.org and download WordPress. And after you click this button, you'll go ahead and download WordPress. The current version is 4.3. Once it is downloaded, you want to go ahead and extract the folder. Just double click on it. And what you want to do is you want to open your FTP program and you want to copy the content of this folder over to your folder on your host. So go ahead and select all the files and just drag them over. And that might take a few minutes to copy. 
in the meantime we're going to go ahead to the cPanel and we're going to create our database so for that you want to go ahead and scroll down to the section where you have your database tools and you want to click on my SQL databases and you want to go ahead and create a new database and this could be a, any name you wish there is a limit on the amount of characters you can use so just be aware of that and go ahead and create a database okay the database has been created as you can see right here now what we want to do is create a user to assign to this database and for that we go to this section here and sometimes um, I create users with different names and sometimes I create a user with the same name as a database just to um, keep things simpler but you can give this any name you like go ahead and assign a password to the user this is a very weak password so um, I, please I recommend using a stronger password and go ahead and click create a user alright so now that we created the user we're going to go ahead and assign the user to the database go ahead and scroll down to add a user to a database and we're going to go ahead and select the user and select the database click add go ahead and select all privileges make changes and you should get this message here saying that um, the privileges has been granted go back and we're all set with that so once our files finish copying here we should be able to configure WordPress okay so our files have completed the transfer so now what we're going to do we're going to configure WordPress and to do that we'll go ahead and visit our site here let's open up a new browser and this would be the URL that for your domain for your folder and um, if you need assistance getting your domain to point to a subfolder um, just let me know um, or your hosting provider should be able to also assist you with this so go ahead and type your URL and you are going to see this configuration page here and we're going to go ahead and click continue and it's going to tell us the requirements that we need to proceed which is the database name the username password your host and your table prefix this configuration is going to create a wpig config file which is the configuration file that's going to be needed to run wordpress so go ahead and enter your database name and the username your password and localhost and the table prefix again is um, a matter of preference I usually change it from the default of uh, WP underscore and just select something else um, just as good practice and now hit submit and we're gonna run the install and now we're going to enter the site title here enter username for your administrative account and we're going to enter a password here and I'm using a very weak password um, please use a stronger password for your actual website and your email for the administrative account and we're going to uncheck this option here to allow search engines to index the site since this is just a uh, test site that I'm using for the video okay and if everything went well you should get this message here saying that WordPress has been installed 
And that's it. You just go ahead and click on log in and enter your username and your password. Log in and you should be and this should take you to your admin panel and here you are again where you can manage your site and um, if you go to the front end you should see the same theme here except that you don't have the content that the script wrote on the um, automated installation so that is it you are up and running and you can start blogging and changing your theme and doing all the wonderful things that WordPress allows you to do. This is a great platform to blog and I highly recommend it. It is the only one that I use for uh, for myself and for my clients. If, um, if you have any questions about this video and or any comments, please go ahead and leave um, leave the comments uh, in the section below. If you like the video, please uh, give a like and um, check out um, SiteGround. It is a great company, a great hosting company. And um, thank you for watching, guys.